everyone. I hope you all are happy and healthy. Today, I want to talk about a movie that a lot of people don't like, Cars 2. Now, I like Cars 2, and I want to discuss why I like it and talk about the good in this movie as well as the ways that the movie could have been better. Now that I've said all of that, let's get into it. There are a few main criticisms that I see about this movie. People don't like how Mater was more of the main character in this movie. They don't like how this movie is about this spy stuff more than it is about the racing. They think that the villain was totally obvious and overall a weak villain. And finally, a lot of people don't think that Mater's struggle with being seen as the fool by others or the fight between Lightning and Mater was a strong enough emotional conflict for a feature length film. Let's start with Mater being the main character of this film. I actually enjoyed Mater getting more focus in this movie. Now that might just be me being biased since I really like Mater's character. However, I appreciated how this I appreciate how this movie sort of gave a little bit more depth to his character. It's not a lot, but we get to see Mater's more vulnerable and sensitive side. Just as an example, after Lightning and Mater hang out for a while, Mater also has plans for the two to hang out later, but then Lightning tells him that he just wants to hang out with Sally alone. In that moment, we see Mater get a little bit disappointed. It's the same thing after Lightning fights with him and he decides to go back home in order to not ruin any more of his races. I find it kind of sweet how this movie made Mater a little bit more sensitive and soft-hearted. I know that might not matter to a lot of people, but I don't know. I just like how they added this tiny little bit of detail to his character in this film. As for people not liking or caring for Mater's whole thing with being seen as the fool outside of Radiator Springs, I actually really could relate to what Mater was going through. I mean, not exactly in the same way, but I get what it's like to make really stupid decisions and then look back and feel ashamed to wonder how in the world did you not realize how you were being in that, how stupid you were being in that moment. Like, um, and also I understand wondering, like, why did other people not tell you, um, like how stupid you were behaving or like why did people you know hide their true feelings about some of the things that you did and so yeah but anyways I also can relate to being someone that other people might view as the as the weirdo or the the outcast and while I know that other shows and movies have this you should be yourself message to it and I get that it's not the most original thing ever I actually really like the way this movie went about showcasing that message in the context of Mater's character. Now, I will say that they should have dived deeper into that or give more substance to that struggle that Mater was having in order to give the movie more of that emotional edge that so many people like Pixar movies for. I think that the movie should have fleshed out Mater's concerns with feeling like an outcast for who he was more, and I really wish that they would have slowed the movie down a bit more in order to focus on that. Because I don't actually think that what Mater is going through is something totally unrelatable, but I just think that the movie doesn't do a good enough job with slowing down and diving deeper into that part of the story. The pacing in this movie is sometimes too fast and it glosses over the parts of the movie that people that I think would have helped people actually feel more connected to Mater's character as well as the overall story. But despite the writers not taking enough time to focus on that part of Mater's struggle, I still really resonated with it and that's part of why I like this movie. One of the other things people complain about when it comes to this movie is the fact that it's more of a spy movie rather than it is about the racing. However, I really enjoy the spy theme of this movie. That's part of what makes this movie interesting for me. Sure, there are probably better spy movies out there, but I still like the whole storyline that this movie had. The whole thing with those evil cars that were trying to make sure that the cars the race cars would never start or really any cars would never start using alternative fuel was a really interesting was a really intriguing and interesting story to watch for me and I found all the action scenes super fun and exciting to watch. Also as for Mater getting mixed up in all the spy drama I know a lot of people didn't care for that part of the story but I liked it. I thought it was funny how Finn thought he was a real spy and I thought it was kind of creative how Mater's obliviousness actually did help Finn and Holly with the miss with the missions. Again, I know that maybe the whole spy part of the story could be boring to other people, and don't get me wrong, it could have been better, but I really liked it. Also, people tend to love it when movies bring up serious issues, and this movie actually does bring up the whole thing about cars using oil and whether it's better to use alternative fuel because of climate change, and while they did it in a very subtle way, I am surprised that no one really acknowledged the fact that this movie sort of touched upon that. Now, if they would have been more bold about it and actually make the issue of climate change a very important thing, a very important part of the story, then the movie would have been so much better. Another thing that people talk about is how it was totally obvious that Miles Axelrod, 
Ax- Miles Axelrod was the one behind it all. Okay, so when I first watched this movie, I remember being totally surprised by it, but that's probably because I was younger. Now that I watch the movie again, yes, it is more obvious that he's the villain. I mean, there's literally a moment where Miles is right next to the queen and he has the most evil look on his face. But even if it is kind of obvious, that doesn't take away from my enjoyment of this movie. Also, let's not forget that other Disney movies have had totally obvious villains as well. And speaking of villains, I don't know why, but I just found Professor Zundap to be a kind of funny villain. I kind of wish his character was more developed and given more screen time because I think he could have been a really interesting villain. Anyways, the next thing I want to bring up is how this movie touches upon the topic of friendship and how Lightning and Mater have a little bit of a falling out. I know some people probably didn't think the movie did a good job with that storyline, and here's the thing. I personally love the parts in this movie that are about their friendship. I love these two and their friendship, and I found it so sweet just how much Lightning regretted what he said to Mater and how much he tried to make things right. Like, probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie is where he chases after Mater, not knowing that Mater had had a bomb in his air filter, and relentlessly tries to get Mater to talk to him again. Like I said, I am a bit biased because I adore the friendship these two have. However, could the story with these two be approved upon? Yes, absolutely. I think, again, this movie doesn't take enough time to focus on the story or flesh it out fully. I feel like whenever this movie does have some sort of emotional storyline, whether it's Mater's internal conflict or the two having a falling out, it skips over it very quickly. And again, while I like the action in the movie, they could have slowed down the movie a little more to give more time for these storylines to make more sense and have more emotional weight to them. And my biggest criticism of this film is that some of the storylines feel a lot like a first draft. I have an idea for this movie that I think could have made it better. What if they combine the storylines of Cars 2 and Cars 3 for this movie? Like, what if Lightning had to fight to still have his racing career while also dealing with those evil cars that are trying to sabotage the races? That would have been cool, in my opinion. Also, if the if the World Grand Prix, if the World Grand Prix would have been the Queen's last chance to prove himself as a racer, then it would have made much more sense as to why McQueen was mad at him, mad at Mater for accidentally causing him to lose the race. Because one thing I didn't like about Cars 2 is how it almost seemed like the World Grand Prix didn't really have much importance to it in terms of Lightning's career. So if the World Grand Prix would have been Lightning's last shot, it would have helped this movie to have a bit more focus on Lightning. I don't mind Mater being the main character, but I do think that Lightning could have had and should have had more screen time and focus. And if Lightning was competing with not just the cars from around the world, but also the next generation cars during the World Grand Prix, then the movie could have taken this direction of Lightning is trying so hard to stay on top of his career that he completely neglects his friendship with Mater, and he doesn't even realize this until after finding out that evil cars have captured him, and that makes that makes McQueen realize that he was so focused on being the best that he forgot about the important things in life, and he forgot... And the, and, the, and the movie could have this message of, like, your career is important, but your friends and your family are also important, or something like that. This idea obviously needs to be more fleshed out since I just thought of it the other day. But I'm just saying that having the World Grand Prix means something to Lightning, and not just have it be a race set up by the bad guys would have made this movie better, in my opinion. And as I was saying before, it would have... If they would have fleshed out the story between Mater and Lightning more, it would have made the movie better as well. Like, the writers should have dig deep, like, really dig deep and think, what would be something that would actually threaten the friendship between these two characters? Because I don't think that just the two having a small argument after Lightning loses the race is enough of a reason to make us believe that these two might not be friends anymore. But if they would have had a pattern of Lightning and Mating fighting throughout the movie, and then they have this extremely b- big fight that could indeed cause them to no longer be friends now that that would have helped the audience to feel more invested into the story i don't think it was a bad idea to have the friendship between these two be at risk while all of this other drama with the bad guys is going on but i just think that they should have done a better job with exploring their friendship and and showing the difficulty that these two could have being friends so yeah that's i think that's all i really wanted to say about this i really like cars too but i recognize that it could have been better it's not the terrible movie that people try to make it out to be but it could use some improvement nonetheless i still love this movie and i enjoy watching it i do not want to pretend this movie never happened because for me i appreciate that this movie does exist even if it's not perfect i love mater getting to play a bigger role here i love the spy theme of the movie i love mater and lightning's friendship and i love some of the jokes in this movie as well 
I do not care that this isn't Pixar's best movie. It's actually one of my favorite movies from Pixar. The Toy Story films, Monsters University, and all three of the Cars movies are my personal favorite Pixar movies. I also like Ratatouille a lot as well. And I understand that most people won't consider it one of their favorite Pixar movies, and that's okay. But Cars 2 is one of mine, and I hope that more people will be able to respect that and respect the fact that some people do like this movie. And I also hope that more people will... I also hope that more people will be able to recognize that this movie does have some good in it and that it has the potential to be better. Anyways, what do you think about Cars 2? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Please remember to love yourself and be kind to everyone.